X Mix for promotional use only. Welcome to the X Mix download page video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be showing you a download page overview, special features, and examples of how to use the download page. This video tutorial will be broken down into eight parts. Let's start with part one download page overview. The download page is divided into six main sections. At the top of the page is the player, which we will discuss in more detail in part two of this tutorial. Below the player is the menu, which will take you to different pages throughout the XMix website. Also located within the menu are two buttons that correspond with your XMix account. Your username button allows you to edit your account settings, while the logout button simply allows you to log out of your XMix account. Below the menu is the crate control section which allows you to manage your download crate. Next is the filter. The filter allows the user to perform more refined and detailed searches. The track list, which shows both songs and videos, appear here. And finally, page selection, which indicates the current page of the track list you are on. Each page in the track list can show up to 300 items at a time. The player allows users to preview songs before downloading. Previews run for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Player controls consist of play previous song, play or pause current song, and play next song. Mute, volume control, and maximum volume. Next you will see the waveform image of the track currently loaded in the player. Directly above the waveform is the play position of whichever track is loaded in the player. To the right of the waveform is the album or compilation artwork, followed by the track title, artist, BPM, and length. To the right of that is where users can rate and comment on the track loaded in the player. And finally, the Add to Crate button, which adds the song that is in the player to your download crate. When users arrive to the download page, whichever song is first in the track list will automatically appear in the player. The song that is loaded in the player will always be highlighted in yellow in the track list. Clicking the play button in the player will automatically begin your preview of the loaded track. The play button will then update to a pause button, both in the player as well as the track list to the left of the song name. Clicking on the rating stars will automatically rate the track. Clicking on the add comment button will show the comment editor. Where users can write a comment, click Add Comment to submit that comment to XMix. Within a few seconds, the comment should appear in the scrolling comments list. Click the Add to Crate button to add the current track to the crate. The Download button should appear and the tracks indicator in the playlist should turn from a plus sign to a minus sign, indicating that the track has already been added to the crate. The Crate Control section will indicate the status of the download crate. Let's take a closer look at the track list. The default view of the track list contains a complete list of songs and videos ordered to always show newest releases first. By clicking on a track, you will see an expanded view in the track list, showing additional track properties such as BPM, genre, and track length. Clicking on the Show Plus button on the top left-hand corner of the track list expands all tracks in the list. Clicking on that same button, now updated to Hide, contracts all tracks in the list. In the normal view of the track list, the title, artist, compilation, release date, average user rating, and crate icon are shown. Now let's get into a little more detail about what you can do with the individual tracks. Right-clicking on a track title or artist will show a search menu that suggests common searches related to the track. These search items are all versions of the track, tracks that contain the same title text, tracks by the exact artist, tracks by the primary artist, and tracks by any secondary artist. Let's view all remix versions of My Love by Wale. As you can see, the track list has been filtered to all remix versions of My Love. To restore the default track list, click Filter Reset. The Filter section controls which tracks will appear in the track list. In the Filter section, you will find multiple drop-down menus, a text search box for more concise searches, and a reset button to clear all filters and searches. The Sort drop-down allows you to manage the order in which the track list appears. For instance, 
date newest to oldest, date oldest to newest, etc. Next are the filter drop-down menus, where you can refine your search by music and videos, compilations, genres, charts, and BPMs. Search a specific artist or track title by typing its name into the search bar and either pressing enter on your keyboard or clicking the magnifying glass icon. I'm going to type in Rihanna and let's see what appears in the track list. We are now seeing all tracks that list Rihanna as an artist, from newest releases to oldest. Now let's add another filter to our Rihanna search. Let's start with BPM. Or better yet, let's add the genre filter and let's choose dance. Now the track list is showing us all songs by Rihanna that are in the dance genre. Note how once a filter is set, you can change it or click the red X to clear that filter. Let's reset all our filters. Now we are back to the default track list. Let's do another example. This time using that right click method we talked about in part 3. Right click on this track to reveal some more filtered search suggestions. And let's click on search for major laser. Now all tracks with Major Laser are displayed in the track list. Let's narrow this down to videos by Major Laser by going to the Music and Videos drop-down menu and selecting Video. Now we are only seeing videos by Major Laser in our track list. Now let's say we want to go back to seeing everything by that artist. You could either click the red X to remove the video filter, or click the left arrow key under History to go back to your previous settings without resetting the entire track list. Now we are back to all songs and videos by Major Laser. Notice how the History Forward button is now showing. This will allow you to re-perform the filter you just reset. Now let's reset all the filters and find a track to search by Primary Artist. Let's search for tracks by Bruno Mars. And now go back by undoing that filter. Now let's set up a filter by BPM and Genre. Let's set the genre to dance and the BPM between 120 and 130. The track list now contains all dance tracks between 120 and 130 BPM. These are just a few examples of how to use XMix's powerful and in-depth filters. So feel free to explore even further what the XMix filters can do for you and your searches. Now we're going to talk about a few tips and tricks to make your download page experience even more efficient. Let's start with the search bar. We explained in the previous section how to use the search bar. Simply type in an artist or song title, press the magnifying glass or enter on your keyboard, and wait for your search results to appear. One trick to ensure your search results display exactly what you are looking for when searching a particular artist, type in an open quotation mark before the artist's name. In this case, let's type in pink. Here you see that tracks with pink as a primary artist are only being shown. Now let's try another search bar trick. Instead of the open quotation mark before our artist's name, type in the caret symbol or shift 6 before the artist's name. Notice a change in your results. What this caret search did was show all results with pink as the first artist, even if there are more artist names to follow. Notice how we can now see a few of Pink's tracks with features such as Nate Roos and Lily Allen, whereas our quotation mark search only showed tracks with Pink and Pink only listed as the artist. Let's move on to another trick, this time in the track list while using a filter. Another trick on the download page is within the search drop-down menu on a track's title. We've already discussed that right-clicking a track will open up a small menu with suggested searches. With this new feature, you can perform searches within an applied filter. Check out this example. You can see we already have a dance genre filter applied. Now, by right-clicking What About Us by Pink, we see the normal drop-down menu. Scroll to Add to Current Search Filters, and here you will find the same set of suggested searches that will search within your selected filter. Let's search for Pink. As you can see, we are now directed to all songs by Pink in the genre dance. Now, let's go back one search. Let's right-click again on What About Us, search for Pink, this time on the main drop-down menu. And now we are seeing all tracks that contain the word Pink with no filters applied. Now let's check out another feature, the Date Range Selector. What this allows the user to do is preview and find tracks that were released at a previous time without having to scroll through pages and pages of tracks. 
Find the date range selector to the left of the search bar and click the calendar icon. The current date will be highlighted in yellow. You can find the month and year here, and at the bottom of the calendar, quick date range options such as tracks uploaded within the last 7 days, 30 days, year, etc. To select a custom date range, click on the first date you would like to choose, as shown. Simply click the second date in your preferred date range. You will see all the dates selected highlighted in blue. Let's do a search with the quick selections at the bottom of the menu. Click on 5 days and you will see the calendar highlight the last 5 days. To render this search, click close on the top of the calendar and you will now see just the tracks uploaded in the last 5 days. Now let's check out some features on the calendar. Clicking on the month and year will open a drop down with previous months and years. Notice what this user is doing. He has selected the entire month of September 2015 on the left side of the calendar, while choosing the month of February 2016 on the right. What this does is select a date range from September 2015 to February 2016. You can also select a large date range by simply dragging your mouse from one calendar to the other, as the user is showing here. The user can select different months while still selecting the date range. The crate contains your collection of tracks to be downloaded. The crate is similar to a shopping cart. The difference being is that on Xmix, downloading the contents of your crate is free with your Xmix subscription. Tracks can be added to the crate in two ways. To add the track that is loaded in the player to your crate, click Add to Crate, located to the right of the player. Tracks in the track list can be added by clicking the plus sign, located to the right of the track star rating. Once added, the plus icon will change to a minus icon, indicating that the track has already been added to the crate. Clicking the minus icon will remove the track from the crate. Notice that the number of tracks in your crate is shown in the crate control section, where you can choose to download the crate, view the tracks in your crate by clicking view, or remove all items from the crate by clicking clear. It is also important to note that the crate is limited to 50 tracks and crating operations. Downloading, viewing, and clearing your crate may take time, depending on your network speed and traffic. Also important to note is that you can download an entire month compilation by simply clicking on the compilation name in the track list. By doing this, you bypass adding the compilation to the crate, and instead begin an instant download of that compilation. Crates are downloaded as a zip file containing the selected tracks. Most modern browsers will show your download status. Once the crate is downloaded, those songs will now appear in the track list with either a check mark or lock icon in place of the plus or minus icon. The check icon means you have already downloaded that particular track. The lock icon means you have downloaded that track two times and you will now be required to use a key in order to download that track again. Users are allowed one key per day, but rest assured your key will not disappear if it is not used, but rather your key count will simply increase over time the less you use them. You can find your keys here. Note the key count is 90 for this user. It is important to note that a key will not be consumed by creating normal tracks, only tracks that have been locked or downloaded two times already. Clicking View Crate will bring you to a track list of tracks that are in your crate. The crate can be downloaded one of two ways, clicking Download Crate in the Crate Control section here, or by clicking the Download button in the Player section under Add to Crate. Remember, automatic downloads occur by creating a video or a full composition. Now we're going to start by filtering the track list to videos only. Much like songs, to preview a video, simply click the Play icon to the left of the song title. You can find the song title, artist, and BPM on the top left of the video, and video player controls on the bottom left. Click the square on the bottom right of the video to enter full screen mode. Escape or F11 on your keyboard will restore normal video view. Click on the X icon at the top right corner of the video to close the video window, or you may also click anywhere outside the video player to close. 
users can quickly preview the next video in the track list by simply clicking on the Play Next button in the Player section, once to close the current video, then a second time to start the next video's preview, as shown on the screen. The same method applies for previewing previous videos. In this final part of the download page tutorial, we are going to be showing you how to upload your own tracks to XMix. XMix users can upload audio via the XMix Connect feature by clicking the blue Upload arrow located above the search bar. Once rerouted to the XMix Connect page, users must read and agree to the terms, both the top and bottom of the page. Music audio must be uploaded as MP3s at 320K and no longer than 10 minutes. After reading through the terms, click the small white box next to the words, I agree to the terms. By doing this, you are enabling the upload form. Click Choose File, and you will be prompted to navigate to the file on your computer that you would like to upload. Fill in all areas of the field. If you are uploading a song with multiple artists or features, the artist field must be filled out, as so. Begin by typing the primary artist name. Follow by typing Feature, spelled F-E-A-T, period. Then, type the secondary artist's name. If there are more than one secondary artist, use commas to separate their names. Once all fields are filled out, click the Submit button. You will either receive a success message or an error message, which will be accompanied by detailed instructions on how to fix your error. XMix will then review the song for approval. Thank you for watching this XMix download page tutorial. We hope this video answered any questions you might have had regarding the XMix download page. Hope to see you next time!